Hi, I'm Matt for Rogue Tactics, and um, if you follow all my videos, you know that I am not a very competitive player, but I do listen to a bunch of the podcasts, and I do watch a bunch of the YouTube channels, so I do think about the metagame, and I try to imagine teams that I would make if I was trying to play, play like a meta team. And, um, I don't know, I guess like the big thing in the medic right now is uh, Kyle Rayner, he's got that crazy stock click in the middle of his dial that makes him, like, nasty times ten. And I, I remember listening to the quarry, and they were talking about a Kyle versus Kyle Rayner uh, matchup, and they said, like, whoever hits first loses, because you knock him onto that god killick, and, you know, of course he wrecks the other Kyle because he can attack twice. And, like, so I've been thinking about ways to mess with him, and, um... I, I just looking at him and looking at him and looking at pieces that I wanted to play with, uh, I realized that I just didn't want to double tap Kyle. He's just too hard. I mean, he gets a 19 defense on that god click, and that's gross. Uh, so I decided to make a team featuring uh, Jenny Sparks from Flash. Uh, she's got this trait that says that uh, hit characters can't use special powers until their next turn, so she can just blast Kyle right past his stop click. And she starts with the four damage. So if she does hit Kyle, she knocks him to the last click of that move and attack power, or the the double placement duo attack power. Oh, guess what? He won't be able to use it next turn because she shuts off all of his uh, special powers. Um, plus, she's good. She's got a running shot, pulse wave, an eleven attack, uh, a eight, seventeen with super senses, and then some crazy leadership power that works for the authority. So I was like, man, she's a, a really good figure. And I guess I, I don't see her on the lists of rock events as much, so uh, I thought, well, maybe I'd give her a shot. Maybe she'd throw people for a loop. Um, and then I realized I was not going to make any a rock event before the rules changed. So I was like, well, let me just uh, tell you about my team and see if anybody can make some changes or whatever, adaptations or whatever to make this team, you know, competitive. Hey, that's pretty cool. Um... So, of course, I'm building around Jenny Sparks, just because she's got that crazy power. Um, I'm filling up next character is a 90-point Guy Gardner. Um, I picked him mainly because he can first turn carry my entire team. Which makes him the only character on the table, which, of course, wrecks High, power, high Father's power. Um, plus, he, he can taxi my entire team to begin with. Um, he's got a 10 attack precision strike, 8 movement... So, <clears throat> so a six movement that first turn, and I'm not really using him for that movement that first turn. I mean, I guess I'm kind of putting stuff into position, but like, it's really there to mess with High Father. Uh, he's got uh, Invuln, got three attack, and then he's got the ability to put on constructs. Like, I want to start him off with the the wall so he can like get protection up, and then like, you know, first turn I move everybody up. Second turn, if I need to, I move him the, the eight squares. And then he gets that special power on his movement his power <clears throat> that states, oh, you move next to adjacent to an opposing character? Well, that move action was a free action. Now you can make an attack. <laughs> so, no, before that, do that, you do that, you could easily swap out for a free action because the wall is 10 points and, you know, the boxing glove or the scissors are lower point values and you can swap them on and all of a sudden you have exploit weakness or you have close combat expert. So, I mean, that was my next plan. So, he'd be a good secondary attacker. Um, I guess, like, uh, my support piece would be uh, the blue Lennon recruit, because he's got the TK, he's got Perplex, he's got Energy Shield Deflection and Enhancement. So, uh, he could TK, Denny Sparks into position that hopefully she can running shot and pulse wave Kyle Rayner or um, Captain Marvel Prime or Proxima Midnight or anybody, you know. And then stop them from using any crazy powers. Um, when I first made the team, I had conceived of uh, Guy Gardner with the, with the catapult, you know. But this should effectively replace the catapult in terms of utility. This is giving me the benefit of throwing a barrier up. And you're like at least stopping a frontal attack on my team. Um, <clears throat> and then filling out the points is a 25-point Bizarro. It... Uh, I put him on there because he's a good third attacker, and you know, and then it's, it made it exactly 300 points. So I was like, well, maybe this is a sign. Maybe this is something that could go good. 
Uh, of course, my plan is to cut the team out as much as with a uh, guy, uh, then TK Denny sparks out and hopefully blasts somebody. Uh, if someone's playing uh, Kyle Rayner and they throw it using the barrier, you know, uh, throw Bizarre out there to break a barrier down so that cutting a line. Um, if I need to, you know, it's kind of risky, but if I need to, I could like, you know, shoot Kyle Rayner regularly without using Jenny Sparks' pulse waiver. Um, with enhancement from <laughs> what I started calling the 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 cat underwear model because he's got the the abs of an underwear model but uh you know with his enhancement to get a bonus from that you know perplexing up 12 attack uh five damage and if you can make it past the super senses with like there's the regular attack then that's it for kyle he's useless city um you know and of course um guy garden gives me a lot of options because i have all the constructs you know like i said i go i would start with the wall then i could swap down to the the scissors or the boxing glove, but I've got way more options than just that, you know, I could put on decoy, let Kyle last a little longer, hopefully, you know, I could put up um, the uh, shield, you know, if I was like a bunch of crazy range stuff that I didn't want to deal with, deal with, and uh, I think that gives me a little bit more versatility than just what I'm looking at as it stands. Uh, I told I played my friend of mine. I told him to go as cutthroat as possible, and he made some really good teams, and he murdered me. I think in a more capable hands, this team could really do a lot of damage, um, especially since, like I said, I don't see a lot of people playing Jenny Sparks. I don't, I don't know if it's just because she's not as good as she is in my head, or if someone's like you know really tried to make a team effort. But I hope my Jenny Sparks team like gets some brains percolating, and someone who's better than me could maybe like take what I did and tweak it to something way awesome. Uh, so this has been like the first episode of my meta maybe uh, series because I call it maybe because if I was better player it'd be like meta definitely but meta maybe because alliteration I'm a chump for that and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this has been Matt with Heroic Tactics.